We have seen from a previous video how to extract the latitude and longitude from an address. But here I want to do the other way around. That means I have latitude and longitude and I want to find the address. Well, here we are going to use exactly the same API. So here I return to my console and I select library here or here from the navigation menu. And I select geocoding API. The documentation and I open the documentation. This time I go to this section reverse geocoding example of reverse geocoding and I have an example. I copy it and paste it in a new tab. Of course for the moment it doesn't work because I forgot my API key. So I return to the console, credentials, I copy my key, and I return my information. But watch out here, it's in JSON and we need to convert that as XML. So just replace JSON by XML and we have the result in the XML format. But as you can notice here, I have a lot of information, much more than the way to return latitude longitude from an address. Okay, but here, what I want is to return this formatted address where I have the address. So I copy this example and I return to Excel. I paste my example, for instance, here in this cell and I copy the first part of the API, this one, and I start to build my web service function. Ampersand latitude, ampersand this time I put the delimiter, the comma, ampersand longitude. I close, but I forgot the API key, I know it, request deny, you must use an API key. Okay, so I return here and I copy it. One more time, ampersand, and I copy my key here. And the status now is okay, it's perfect. So, what I want to extract is the address, and we have seen that it was formatted address. So, one more time the function filter XML. So my XML parameter is C2 and double slash formatted address. And here I have more than one result. It's because when I return to my example, you can see that I have here formatted address but there is other results, and here another one, and here another one. It's because here I have different type of results. Here, for instance, it's root. Here, it's neighborhood. Here, it's postal code. And the first one, it was street address. For the moment, it's not so important, but it will be in another video. Okay, so I return to Excel. So here, because there is not only one answer, Excel is able to return as many results as there is in the source. But here, what I want is just the first one. And because this is what we call dynamic array, the way to extract the first item from a list is to put the symbol at before the function. And you press enter, and I have the first address. I copy the two formulas, don't forget the XML, And here we go. So for each latitude and longitude, now I have the full address. So here, what I have written, it's the first formatted address and it's always the address. But maybe you, what you want to return is just the name of the city. But it's possible to return only this information when you manipulate the XPath and that's what I'm going to show you in the next video.